Good morning, good evening, good afternoon from wherever you're tuning in from. It's the Farm Girl K.E. back again with a new video helping you turn your farming businesses into success. So I asked you guys what you'd like to know about spring onions and the questions that popped up were market availability, how to grow the onions and the best environment to do so. So I'm going to be answering the questions in terms of how to grow them, the best uh, environments and also the market availability. So when you're growing your seedlings or when you're growing your spring onions, you can grow them from uh, cuttings or even from seeds. Seedbed preparation requires a bucket of manure and 20 grams phosphate fertilizer which is going to fit for a one meter square piece of land the soil ph is 6.3 to 6.8 the amount of seed that you require for an acre piece of land it is one kilogram to one and a half kilograms and using cuttings you need approximately two sacks of the cutting so that they can be enough for the whole acre piece of land so during the transplanting of the seedlings in the from the seedbed to the piece of land you will need to do a soil testing so that you can know the amount of nutrients in your crops or in your farm and the amount of nutrients that you need to add. At this point, the green onions are in the vegetative stage. So the fertilizers that you need to add are phosphorus and nitrogen. Phosphorus is good for root development and nitrogen is good for leaf development. After four weeks, you can add calcium so that you can increase the quality of the onions before harvesting so that during and after the harvest, they will not cake when you are transporting them from the farm to the market and they will also increase the quality or the shelf life of the green onions after harvesting. Adding calcium to the crops at four weeks is also important because the calcium contains granular elements that prevent the crop from caking uh, during storage so the spacing during the transplanting period should be 8 to 10 centimeters between the seedlings and 15 centimeters between the rows like any other crop green onions also require to thrive in a moisturized environment and the best irrigation method is the drip irrigation however you can also use the overhead irrigation system although it is vulnerable to fungal infections because of the cold you can avoid by spraying fungicides biological fungicides regularly every week so that you can ensure they are active all the time because prevention is always better than cure if it is not raining water the green onions every day if it is cloudy water them twice a week the main pests that affect spring onions are thrips aphids and mealybugs but you can avoid by weekly weeding because you will be providing the, the spring onions with sufficient nutrients light and space and it will also keep them off from competing with the spring onions for nutrients weeds are very good hosts for the pests so if you weed your crops properly you're going to eliminate the pests naturally alternatively you can use organic pesticides like neem oil during the first six weeks so that you can minimize and eliminate pests in your green onions the best environment to grow spring onions is in the hot and uh, warm environment which is of uh, 15 to 30 degrees celsius the principles apply when you're regrowing the green onions from cuttings and from seeds you harvest the bunching onions after two to four weeks when the leaves are green tall and succulent you harvest several times depending on the maturity level of the spring onions because they do not all mature at the same time and you uproot the entire onion including the roots which are now going to clean them and then you store them for taking to the market the following day or even the very day that you have harvested if your market is ready at that time prices range from 70 to 150 shillings and the best market is based in Nairobi, mostly at High Ridge, but you can also target hotels and restaurants. The main source of spring onions and the red onions in Kenya is Tanzania. And during the months of November to May, the supply from the country is usually low. So this is the best time to target your spring onions to harvesting to increase the chances of growing them profitably. So timing is the best element for you to grow the spring onions or the bunching onions profitably, such that if you want to be harvesting your spring onions in November, 
you should plant them in August. If you want to harvest them in December, you should plant them in September. On and on until May. The best thing with onions generally is that they are cooked with every meal. So if you grow them for your home consumption, it is the best idea. If you grow them for commercial purposes, it is a good idea. And if you grow them for commercial purposes, the timing is the best thing that you can do to yourself so that you can increase the amount of uh, profits that you're going to make at the end of the day. The best period to sell is from November to May. So keep it that, keep that in mind. So if you have found any value in this uh, video, make sure that you consider subscribing. I will be so very happy to see you as a member of this family. And I would like to see this family grow until uh, we are 1,000 sub subscribers and 1 million subscribers so that we can make our farming businesses the best place that we can be in, living and making money out of it. Until next time, bye-bye.